Hello, welcome to Chinese Genealogy Research Webinar. Today's webinar is on reading and understanding Jiapu. This webinar has two parts. We're looking at part one right now. My name is Lena Wakefield. I am a Asia Research Specialist in Family History Library. Let's begin with what is a Jiapu? Jiapu is an important part in Chinese genealogy. It is a family genealogy record, including lineage structure that shows mostly male descendants in link patrilineal sequence. During this webinar, together we will learn what's in the Jiapu, what to look for in the Jiapu, and how to extract information from a Jiapu. Let's start at the very beginning, which is table of content. Usually this is found at the beginning of the book. Here we have the locality. In this case is Fuli, which is an area in Taiwan. Next, we have the family name, Li. Following that, Qi Xiu, meaning this Japu is the seventh edition. The next two characters telling us this is the table of content. Now, if your Japu has extensive amount of information, more than likely you'll have more than one volume. So right here indicate you're looking at volume one. Following this is the actual table of content listing the preface right here and the usage guides and so forth. At this point, we will not talk about these items individually, but we will cover them later on. Here is preface one. In this preface section, we can get information such as date it was written and the name of the author. Also, in this Japu, this author mentioned wars and building a school by the community. There are two prefaces in this Japu. Here's the second one, where we can find information about the generation place of the author. This author is from the 22nd generation. His name and the day this preface was written. This author also mentioned the migration of the family and that it has been 50 years since they last updated this Japu. And this new update edition is a collaborative effort of the clan members. Now we're looking at a usage guide. This usage guide explains the style of the Japu, the way the records should be kept, and how to read the Japu. This section of the Japu is called the Liu Yuan Kao, or Origin and Development of Family. Pretty straightforward. It records um, the origin, the place, and the migration of the family Li. And this part of the Japu is written in classical Chinese. Next, we have the list of names of people who receive a copy of the Japu, where they live, including which family they are from. For example, Hui Gong Zhang Fang, meaning the first wife of Hui Gong. This is the family, the name, and in parentheses, the locality of these people. This is Hui Gong E Fang, from the second wife of Hui Gong, the names, and the locality. Now we are looking at two different lists. This list right here, are the people who were gifted a copy of this book, and right here are the people who purchased a copy. Here we have the list of dynasty. China was politically divided during multiple periods in its history with different regions ruled by different dynasty. Dividing Chinese history into periods ruled by dynasties is a common method of periodization.
Now, I love pictures in books, especially in Jiapu. This is a portrait and biography of one of the ancestors. Remember now, back then, they did not have cameras. So we get to enjoy hand-drawn portraits. Now, here include his name, age when he entered into military, his height, and his accomplishment and rank in the military. Now, this section of the Jiapu recorded more modern famous people. That includes their names, education, occupation, accomplishment, major donation, and more. Now, even better, we have the pictures here as well. So you can now put faces to those famous names in your family. This is quite a remarkable Japu. They even have their own clan songs. Here are lyrics of two songs. This first one right here is a song about the beauty of the village. The second song right here is about an iron furnace. We will later see more about this iron furnace. I think this family really, really treasure this particular furnace. Here we have a donation list. It includes name of donors, locality of donors, and the amount they donated. For example, this is the name, the first row is the name, second row is the locality, and third row right here is the amount of donation. Now, we're looking at the table of the education and occupation statistic. This is really interesting because it allows you to, at one simple glance, an easy to read table format, knowing the occupation, education, accomplishment in each family. For example, Hui Gong Zhang Fang, again, the first wife of Hui Gong, this one, the second wife, third wife, and these are other siblings. And it's divided with different level of education and occupation. This one right here, Bo Shi, meaning PhD, Jiao Shou, Professor, Shuo Shi, Master Degree, Yan Jiu Sheng, Postgraduate School, Da Xue Da Zhuan, University, Gao Zhong Gao Zhong Zhuan, High School, Gao Di Gong Cheng Shi, High Level Engineer, Gong Cheng Shi, Engineer, Qi Ye Jia, Entrepreneur, Gao Di Jiao Shi, Teacher, Jing Ji Kuai Ji Shi, Accountant. So we have here from this family one PhD, five professors, 112 master degrees graduates, one postgraduate, 90 university graduates, 353 high school graduates, three high level engineers, 12 engineers, two entrepreneurs, 18 teachers, and three accountants. So by reading down each family, you can see in one glance the accomplishment and education statistic. Next, we have the male and female statistic table. Here, looking at the locality, the family name, male, female. Again, divided by first wife, second wife, third wife, and a sibling. Now, this doesn't mean this first wife had this many children. This simply means from this side of family, from the lineage of the first wife, this is the many generations up to the seventh edition of the Jiapu. Remember now. So from the middle here, we're going to part it in the middle. This line here to the right is the number of male. Here to the left is the number of female. For example, in the male category, it is divided into 60 year old and above, 20 and above, 8 and above, and 8 and below. So in the first wife family lineage, we have 429 people at this point who are 60 years 
and older. 1,162 who are 20 year old and older. 378 for those who are 8 and older. 437 for 8 and below. And this is the total of the male of all this together. Now over here, this is interesting. For the Male side is divided into four categories. You have 60 and above, 20 and above, 8 and above, and 8 and below. For the female side, you have 60 and above, 16 and above, and 16 and below. Okay, did I mention I get excited when I see pictures or drawings in Japu? Here's a map of the location of the tomb of the first migrant ancestor. Notice the mountains. Here is the tomb, surrounded by houses, trees, and indication of paddy field, some of this area. Here's the close-up drawing of the tombstone. In this drawing, you can find the name of the husband and the wife, location of the tomb, and description of its surrounding. Next, we have the map and description of the surrounding of the ancestral hall. Again, with details of mountains and roads. The ancestral hall is right here in the middle. You have houses on the side, trees on the back, and other landmarks surrounding it. Now, this is a detailed description and drawing of the actual ancestral hall without the surrounding. You can see how many wings there are, how many rooms, in the detail such as windows in each building and doors. And this is the main entranceway. I want to bring your attention to this right here. This is an iron furnace. Remember earlier on we talked about how they have a song about an iron furnace? Yes, this family really treasured this iron furnace because this iron furnace has its own page. Look at the detail and how intricate this drawing is. From the handle to the carving lines on the top part of the furnace to the bottom of the carving of the animal faces on the legs. Now here we have the memorial ceremonies. This part of the chapel really intrigued me. It has such detail of ceremonies of worshiping, such as table display, storage of ceremonial furniture, utensils, tablecloth, dishes, and even down to the eating ritual, such as prohibition of consumption of wine and meat before the actual ceremony. And to continue from last page, they have recorded the step-by-step -step rituals of the ceremony, such as handling of the sacrificial lamb, how many times they need to kneel and bow, and the presenting of wine and so forth. The details such as time, when to kill the sacrificial lamb, and who is to perform that ritual. It is the master of the ceremony. And down to here you have one kneel and three bows in such great details. Now without writing this down, these rituals are probably too complicated to be remembered by the next generation. What this shows here is how important traditions and worshiping and remembering ancestor in the Chinese family. This concludes part one of the reading and understanding of Japu webinar. As you can probably see how detailed this Japu is and we're not done with this book yet. Part two of the seminar, we will continue to explore the same Japu with some other really interesting information. So please come back for part two. I want to leave you with this quote from Maya Angelou. I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. We all come from families. 
and to connect with our family, to connect with our family histories, we then learn more about ourselves. Thank you all for watching and see you in part two.